making sure that the inside of your pot is, is moist, wet, no standing water. You're going to fill the air meter in three equal lifts by volume. For the air test, you want to make sure you've got your seal good and wet. That will help ensure a good seal against the mouth of the air pot. Rock it, make sure you've got a good seal. Lock your clamps down. Want we'll to make sure that your main air valve is closed and that your bleeder valve is, is closed. You want to start introducing water through one of the pet cocks. Jarring the air meter to displace any entrapped air. With both pet cocks still open, We'll take your air pot up to your initial pressure. Initial pressure on this air pot is 2.5. We'll tap the back of the gauge to help stabilize that needle. Is that needle stabilized? Close your pet cocks. With your mallet, you want to strike the side, side of your air pot. Smart. Air valve still depressed. Lightly tapping the back of the gauge to stabilize the needle. And get your air reader. If you're less than 8% on your air, You'll read your air to the nearest one increment. As you go above 8%, you're going to read to the nearest half percent. You always want to try to rotate the scoop around the mouth of the air pot. This will help ensure an even distribution of the concrete. Get your first lift placed. You're going to rod into the air pot. You want to go to the full depth of the air pot without forcibly striking the bottom. As you rod the, the concrete, you want to go in a circular motion. It's best always to start from the outside and work your way in. You want to strike the outside of the bowl 10 to 15 times. This is going to fill your air pot approximately two thirds of the, the volume. Second lift, you want to penetrate this lift below by approximately one inch. Strike the air pot 10 to 15 times with the mallet. Same as the second lift, you want to penetrate that second lift by approximately one inch. Always pulling the rod completely out before you make your next rod. 10 to 15 times. You can use a striker bar or a striker plate. Use the bar. You want to do it in a screening motion and remove any excess concrete. 